Oh my gosh, I'm so slow. I want to be... I want to be fast. I want to be faster. Why am I so slow? Dude, if only I had a... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! What was that? I think I uncovered the new... I think I uncovered the new ability. I think I can run now! I can run now! I really enjoy running in my free time. It is very healthy. Ah! Alright guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're making a s advanced a sprint system in Roblox Studio, which is not just a sprint system, but it also has stamina and tweening, which makes it overall look more slick and refined, which is why I really like it. So, and by the way, guys, before we start, if you do have any problems, make sure to join my Discord server or comment down below so that I can help you out. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing that we need is actually the GUI. For the sprint system and it's pretty simple i'm just gonna go over here and start a gui and i'm gonna add in a screen gui and i'm gonna call this stamina now i'm gonna make a frame i'm gonna call it background and let's move it somewhere here so that we could see the stamina i'm gonna make it black now let's add let's duplicate this background let's make its zindex here two let's call this the frame and i'll make it green I'll also put this inside of the background and let's just move it on top again. But yeah, that's pretty much all we need for the UI. You guys can make it as good as you want. I'm just going to make it pretty simple for the video, but yeah. After that, we just create a local script and I'm going to call this sprint script. Now we're going to get our basic variables, which are local player is equal to game.players.local player, local character is equal to player.character, and local humanoid is equal to character.humanoid. We also need the local user input service is equal to game get service user input service which is going to get our key that we're pressing also get local running is equal to false and local stamina is equal to 100 a few more variables that we need are local tween service is equal to game get service tween service which is what we will need to tween after we got the tween service we're just going to get the walk speed and the field of view which is a uh, local walk speed is equal to humanoid dot walk speed and make sure all the capitals are correct, otherwise it won't work. And let's also get our camera, which is local current camera is equal to game.workspace.currentcamera. After we did that, we're going to check if we press the key. So UI user, so user input service dot input began colon connect function and input as our variable here. Now we're going to do if input dot key code is equal equal to enum dot key code dot left shift then we're gonna do running is equal to true because we're gonna be running and let's also do while stamina is larger uh capital letter here larger than zero and running is equal to true do this is just gonna check uh actually let's do two equal signs this is going to check if our stamina is larger than zero and also if we're running as we can see here now we're gonna do stamina minus equals zero uh, minus equals one and script dot parent colon tween size udim two dot new udim two uh udim uh u udim two dot my bad udim two dot new stamina divided by a hundred then we're gonna do zero one and zero we're gonna make the tweening direction out and the tweening style linear so that it's nice and sp we're also going to make the times not zero and now let's do a wait now we're going to do if stamina is smaller or equal to zero then and we're going to keep this uh empty for now let's just do um run and and over here we're also going to do run and actually it's slow down now we're going to do uis uh, dot input ended colon connect function input the same thing here if input dot key code is equal equal to enum dot kiko dot left shift then running is equal to false stop running and then while stamina is smaller than 100 and running is equal equal to false then uh, uh not then do it's going to be checking if stamina is smaller than 100 and if running is false now we're going to do stamina plus equals one and script dot parent colon tween size Udim2 dot new stamina divided by 100 0 1 0 easing direction out easing style linear and time zero and we're just gonna wait and we're also gonna do if stamina is smaller or equal zero then slow down all right now that we got that it's not actually gonna do anything our 
field of view and our speed is not going to change. So let's actually make this work. To make this work, we're going to do local walk speed change is equal to tween service colon create. We're going to do humanoid, which is what it's going to be changing. We're going to do tween info dot new one, which is how long it's going to walk speed is equal to tw uh, 30. And this one, what? And this is what it's going to make our walk speed in the end. Let's also do local field of view change is equal to tween service create. Now here we're going to do current camera tween info dot new one and walks uh, not walk speed field of view is equal to 100. We're also going to do the same but for the slowing down. So local walk speed slow is equal to tween service tween service colon create humanoid tween info dot new one and here we're going to do walk speed is equal to 16 and actually we can just copy this but change the name field of view slow and change this back to 70. so now all we have to do is do walk speed change colon play Field of view change colon play. Over here, we're gonna do walk speed slow play. Field of view slow play, which is going to slow us down if our stamina is lower than zero. Here, we're gonna do the same. I'm just gonna copy this, paste it here, and paste it here. So that's pretty much it for the code. Now, if we try this out, it will have it will work most likely. And guys, don't mind my uh, avatar right here. It's, uh, it's, uh, anyways, uh, guys. So now if we try holding shift, we'll see that we speed up. And once our stamina runs out and we let go of shift, our stamina will start refilling and we can run again. So we have stamina and a nice smooth transition for a run. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you make a sprint system in Roblox Studio. An advanced system because we're, we, you know, we're pro developers here. In my channel, anyone who's subscribed, which is uh, not very, yeah, not a lot of you guys are subscribed, but yeah, guys, um, yeah, advanced system. And guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. But and guys, like I said before, if you do have any problems, make sure to join my Discord server so that I can help you out. But yeah, guys, with that said, thank you for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.